going on guys today I'm going to show y'all how to get the 50 brutal takedowns trophy in Mafia 3 um, I know a lot of people are having problems with this bugging and uh, glitching out um, like the uh, the counter the stat tracker was not uh, counting for them um, I'm just going to show y'all exactly how to get this trophy I'm going to turn down my volume I just don't want to hear all that stuff coming through right quick and yeah, just turn all this down real quick that should probably be good alright so basically what you're gonna do is to basically do this trophy for it to not glitch on you or whatever the problems you're having with it is you're basically gonna have to start up a new game now obviously if you're midway through and you're trying to beat the game for your first time obviously you gotta play the game twice to do the platinum anyways so you might as well just do this on your second playthrough however if you've already done it already twice or you're just now starting it and you're not very far at all you could restart the game and get to this point right here which is what I'm about to tell you so basically what you do is whenever you get to uh, mission 5 where you're gonna go find or fight Baca or whatever once you do that um, you're gonna get through that part of the game and then you're gonna get through a few other little story missions I'm not gonna spoil anything for you but eventually you're gonna talk to this na lady named Cassandra and Cassandra is basically gonna uh, tell you you need to take out this area which is this mission right here which is called prostitution it's the very first I guess like portion where you have to go fight enforcers and eventually you have to fight the racket bosses and etc etc anyways basically what I'm telling you is is once you talk to Cassandra and you walk out the door you're gonna be basically right here on the map and there's gonna be like a car over here and instead of going over here to the mission like it says you're gonna wanna travel over here it almost looks like this over here by these houses over here on the right so you're looking at the road right here by the river there's that there's that mission right there and then there's these houses over here and basically you want to go to the one that kind of looks like almost looks like a pistol and basically I drove over here and you get out about right here And basically what you're gonna to want to do is there's gonna be some guys over here and this is the first time in the game you're going to be able to do brutal takedowns. So I'm going to show y'all exactly how I farm this. So basically there are seven possible chances you're going to be able to do brutal takedowns. And you're not going to be able to get all seven every time, but you'll be able to get a few, I would say. So basically what you want to do to get a brutal takedown is you want to come over here to this guy, let him, let him charge you and whatnot. You want to double tap circle, and then like I did right there, you want to hold circle until it highlights. There's like a little highlight indicator, and you want to release it in the white. So again, I know that was kind of quick. I'm going to show you all again. Run in there, double tap circle, and then hold it in the white, and then that's a brutal takedown. That little animation right there that you've seen, that's a brutal takedown. There's a few other animations it does too. Now that right there that I just did was not a brutal takedown. That right there is. That animation and then there's another one where he does like a headbutt. Lincoln will do like a headbutt animation. That's another form of a brutal takedown. And basically there's like seven guys over here you can farm. Now once you do all this and you take out all of these guys, you can come back here and do this again and again and again and you basically you can basically farm it as much as you want now obviously you only need to do 50 for the trophy and I can't remember the name of it but I'll put it in the title description once I do get done with this video so basically like I said another takedown right here and that will not count now that I just died from that and see here's the thing I'm not entirely sure if you die if it counts it might count 
but I'm not sure. When I did mine, I actually did not have that happen one time. So what you could do to be safe is do three or four if you're really weak and then just reload the checkpoint and it'll count those four. So anyways, I guess I can actually show you guys now how I get out of here and whatnot. So basically, well, I gotta get actually out of here. Okay, there we go. And so you're right here, obviously. So like I said, right here with the pistol. And then you go over here to your car, you drive over there, and you guys get the idea. You just rinse and repeat that area. So I'll drive over where you gotta drive over, but you guys kind of get the point. So basically, once you talk to Cassandra, you'll finally be out in the free roam world area of this game. And once you do that, you can come over here and you can farm them. Real easy, nice and quick. You ain't got to worry about it glitching on you. If you didn't have it glitch on you, props to you. But I know a lot of people that have played this game that have problems with this. So I'm just letting you guys know. I know it's been a long time since this game's been out, but I did find a method to do this that I know 100% does work. There is no lying about this. Obviously, that does not count either. But you guys kind of get the point. You got to let him provoke you. Double tap circle, bang, bang, and then hold it then gets it in that area and basically you just do this obviously that one's not going to count either you got to let him get up that's basically it and you just basically just do that That one's not going to count, but I got two or three right there. And like I said, you basically just do that. And then when you just feel like quitting out, you just reload back to the ch checkpoint again, go back to game, load checkpoint, X. And then it'll put you back where we were just at. And then you just, like I said, over and over. I, like I said, repeat myself a little bit, but I'd rather let you guys know exactly what you guys have to do to get the trophy. So anyways, that's pretty much it, and once you reach 50, the trophy should unlock. So anyways, guys, video, and if I have any more trophy videos that uh, I find in this game that could be helpful, I will throw a video up for them. So, catch y'all later.